So, former Nigerian Senate pres uh, Deputy Senate President and Nigerian politician Ike Ekuremadu's case continues to grow worse and worse by day. Ekuremadu have been you know, getting himself involved in several problems outside Nigeria. Record a few years ago, Ekuremadu traveled to Germany for New Year Festival that is always organized by the Igbos and he was beaten. In fact, you have seen you, you have seen the video, he was run, the beating mercilessly. He was running for his life. Again, this is this one has to do with his daughter Sonia, who has a felon in her kidney. And instead of him to do it the normal process, you you think you can use you can use your uh, political power, veto power in Nigeria outside outside Nigeria, but he failed. Now I love this writer, beautiful writer from the Nation newspaper, Citrus. Ik Ekuremato is a man in fetters, driven by paternal love. He has landed in grisly cuffs in faraway London, United Kingdom. The jailhouse bonds render him captive and constrained. Likewise, his wife Beatrice shares his fate. She wears her manacles like a despicable bracelet on her wrist. The embattled former Deputy Senate President Ike Kuremado and his wife are in serious dilemma right now. Their fate hangs precariously in the balance as they await their sentencing by Central Criminal Court of England and Wales, commonly referred to as the Old Belly. The criminal is 60 years of age, his wife Beatrice 56 years of age, and their medical middleman Obina Obeta 51 years of age were found guilty of facilitating the travel of David Wamini 25 years to Britain with a view to exploiting his kidney at a six-week trial at the Old Belly. So I think uh, Ike Kuremado and his wife and the doctor, they thought they could, you know, maybe they would beat their ordeal. They may have said to themselves, this too shall pass, but sadly it won't. However, their daughter Sonia, for whom they allegedly sought to procure one man's kidney, was cleared by the court. These are certainly not the best of times for Ike Kuremado and, you know, and co. Why their conviction signpost? Signposed uh, a personal tragedy to the family, it signals yet another triumph for British legal system. Since the news of the deputy Senate president and his wife's arrest broke in June 2022, their travel had occupied the front burner of public discussion. Expectedly, the accusation of organ harvesting elicited, elicited a flurry of reaction. You know, in the United Kingdom, Forced organ harvesting and organ trafficking are serious crimes. The trafficking of organ, organs is illegal in the UK and legal donations of organs can only take place following a person's consent. Under UK's Modern Slavery System Act of 2015, organ harvesting is punishable with a maximum sentencing of life imprisonment. Now the question is, but how did E.K. Kremado and his wife land in their present predicament? The desperation to save their daughter Sonia's life landed them in this detention. Following their arrest, they were denied birth severally. If it's in Nigeria, come on, they should have been bailed since. But they have been denied birth severally, triggering, triggering the couple's apprehension and worries from their friends and family. Ike Kurimatu, a three-time deputy senior president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has since surrendered his passport to the British government over the issue. In the most humiliating fashion, the Kurimados have been left Pinning for freedom. Many have sympathized with the senator and his wife. Standing in solidarity with them are the former National Pub uh, Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Olisa Metu, a retired FCT permanent secretary, Fred Chuku Lobe, Chief Chinyaka Oha, and relatives of Ike Kremadu. They have visited him, you know, to sympathize with him. A hey. route to Ike Kremadu's conviction. Ike Kremadu stated his case before a 12 member jury, pleading that he was moved to save his daughter's life. As a dutiful father, he said he did what was expedient and disclosed that he was advised by his doctor against seeking a kidney donor from among his family members. But the prosecution lawyer, who Davis, countered, saying that Ikurimadu ignored medical advice to find a donor for his daughter among genuine family members. Beatrice, Ikurimadu's wife, however, pulled the rock from under the feet of her husband when she denied involvement in the search for an organ donor for their ailing daughter. On the family's fin uh, finances, the 56-year-old bitch told the court that her husband took care of the house just as she only carried out domestic duties, which included visiting their children in school in the UK. 
Sonia, their daughter, was diagnosed with a kidney problem in 2019, and since then, there have been frantic efforts to get her a donor. The 25-year-old, on her part, pleaded not guilty to the charge leveled against her when she appeared in the court this year. In the end, Equimado, his wife Beatrice, and their doctor accomplice Obina Obeta were found guilty. The jury found that they conspired to bring 21-year-old uh, David Wamini at the center of the matter. David Wamini, they brought him to London to exploit him for his kidney. According to the UK Guardian, it is the first verdict of its kind under the Modern Slavery Act. Their daughter, that is Equimado's daughter, Sonia, was however cleared of the charges. They were alleged to have attempted to convince doctors at the Royal Free Hospital in London to perform an 80,000 British pounds transplant on the donor who was presented as Sonia's cousin, Lies. However, during the trial, the couple apologized for claiming that the donor was a relative. The prosecutor said a primado, a lawyer and lawmaker agreed to reward someone for a kidney for his daughter, somebody in circumstances of poverty and from whom he distanced himself and made no inquiries, with whom for his own political protection he wanted no direct contact. He knew he was thinking he's in Nigeria, he didn't know he's in UK and he's, uh, he's under UK, uh, UK law. Throughout the trial, Ekremadu denied all accusations and maintained that he was the victim of a scam. Obeta, on the other hand, the doctor, who also denied the charge, claimed the man was not offered the reward for his kidney and was acting altruistically. Beatrice vehemently denied knowing anything about the purported conspiracy. Sonia did not enter any defense after presenting the court with a medical report, claiming she is unfit for trial. David Wyman, the 21-year-old who is at the epicenter of the controversy, contrary to initial rumor, he was not a minor. Based on the details provided, by the Nigerian Immigration Service and Westminster Magistrate Court last June and July respectively. The young man said he thought he was coming to Britain to work. So David thought he was going to work. So he also told the court how he was born and bred in a village in Nigeria in a Buddhist state. The oldest of nine children to his carpenter father and mother. According to David Muhammad, he went to a village school until he did not he went to a village school until the age of fifteen when he left because his parents needed money the court had his uncle took him to live with him in lagos and gave him work selling phone accessories he said after four years he started his own business selling phone accessories from a wheelbarrow in the market he was earning averaging three thousand or four thousand naira a day david woman further disclosed that he was taken by dr obeta for his consultation at the royal free hospital he told judges he thought it was for a test because he could start work. The prosecutor, David, uh, who Davis, the case he told the court that Eprimado and Obeta had treated the man, that's David Mwani, and other potential donors as disposable assets. Exactly. That is how they treated this young man. Spare pass for a world. So the prosecutor said they entered an emotionally cold commercial transaction with David Mwani. The Guardian UK also reported the behavior, according to the prosecutor, who David, he said the behavior of a preman who showed entitlement, dishonesty, and hypocrisy. In fact, this summed up the behavior and character of almost all Nigerian politicians. So, prosecutor David told the jury. He said a criminal agreed to reward someone for a kidney for his someone, someone in circumstance of poverty uh, from of whom he distanced himself and made no inquiries and with whom for his own political protection he wanted no direct contact. There is likelihood that the criminals may not get the minimum 12 months option attached to summary conviction but if they are found guilty by May as the case have been adjourned, the sentence have been adjourned, or guilty of content uh, if they are found guilty of intent to commit human trafficking, seeing as the kidney transplant did not eventually happen, they will be handed a sentence not exceeding 10 years. Perhaps a soft landing for the Primados will bring respite for them. All eyes are on the presiding judge, Justice Jeremy, who has reserved the sentencing to a later date. The Primado and his wife have been remanded in custody and await sentencing of May 5th, 2023. The ordeal of Sino Ikurimado and his family should serve as a deterrent or as a lesson to all and sundry or to all politicians who think they can get away with any crime in Nigeria, but they can't get away with it in UK. And still going back to it, 